and we're back with more Detroit Become Human. When we last left off, it was very emotional, and I don't want to talk about it. I'm so, so sorry, Hank. Oh my god. I really fucked up, and I am terribly sorry. Um, I have no idea what happens from here, because everybody is in different places from, well, I mean... Marcus is kind of in the same place, so I sort of know what's going to happen for Marcus. But, uh, Car and Connor are up in the air. So, let's hop back in. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please? Please? Wrong joystick. Please? Over here, please? What's going to happen to CyberLife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Madam President! Wrong joystick again. Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Thank you. That will be all. Damn it, you're supposed to be distant. Fine. It's fine. Where are they taking us? We both have to be strong, Alice. Come on, get out! Get a move on! Out! Hands on your heads! Come on, 
part of me is really like, what happens if I try to run the other way? I was really tempted to try, but I know that'll end very abruptly. Probably. Deactivate your skin. Hurry up! Weird that their hair disappears too, though. Like, how does that work? Please, Kara, don't. We have to. I'm very curious about the science behind their hair. Strip off. Put your clothes in the dumpster. This way. Get a move on. Yeah, that's about Dude, what I expected. This one of a dump. No, no, I'll Don't do it. it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. It's easier for me to do it versus watching somebody else get shot. Throw it over there. Move it. I'm going. Just keep holding. Oh, that's right, I have a chance to escape without Alice. I won't, though. I won't be that cruel. Then it's not a very good Today, upset if I just November 11, run away. 2038 is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us and we will stop at nothing. <laughs> Public opinion <laughs> is not good. Woodward Avenue, downtown. 10.56 p.m.
It was me! I was on the grassy knoll! <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, I don't know how I feel about this. Do I want Connor to succeed or do I want him to fail like he has literally everything else in my playthrough this time? Yes, I know, computer. Thank you. Put the rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air! I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm on your side. I can shoot the leader of the Deviants and stop the revolution, but you have to let me. Put the gun down. Turn around. This is your last warning. <sighs> okay, well... I know you. You're Connor. The android from that hostage situation. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Androids don't die, Captain. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. Fuck! You don't understand. I mean... My mission is too important to let you interfere. Flee! I'm gonna get shot. Stay right there. Uploading memory. No! Shit! God damn it. Connor! Connor! Fuck. Fucking androids. <sighs> Fuck! Alice? I keep killing him. Here. I was with a little girl. Wait, we're together. She needs me. Alice! I haven't done anything wrong. Let me out. Alice? Yeah, I didn't want to watch that. Alice! Alice! Don't move, don't, don't move. move. And remain silent. Obey now. Alice! Luther! Carol! I knew I'd recognize you, even when you're naked. Never see you again, Alice. Where's Alice? We got separated. Alice is alone. And here, we have to find her. You, you, and you over this way. And you, come on, get a move on. No, Luther. Luther got shot. Oh, that's right. He when he was when we were escaping Jericho. Save Alice. Get intervening is how we get shot. like this. Oh, you know the answer to that question. What are they going to do? Listen. Do you hear that? That's the sound of our people dying. The 
So you were captured too? The humans found us. They said we were monsters. They killed most of us. They put the others in trucks and brought us here. Who just spoke to me? What's behind these? Jerry? Kara. So they captured you too. They came to take all the Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Well, some Jerry's made it Do you know where Alice to the is? Jericho, and some made it here. Alice. The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. I'm... I'd rather not sacrifice you. Alice, do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Thank you, Jerry. Cara! Alice! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. Just pull we her through the bar. Her. She fits. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Cara! Can Alice self-destruct? I imagine she can. How? What's behind these doors? Who's talking to me? The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been interned pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Eleven PM. Eleven oh one. Y'all ready? Because I ain't. Freedom or death? Freedom or death? Attack! Go, go, go! They've regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Dumbass. Come on. Ah. 
Thirty your troops. Well, um, covering fire. Fire. Thank you for pausing out in the open so I could see that. Cover me! Well, if the dumbass didn't run out into fire, he wouldn't have been shot. You're an idiot, Josh. You won't save me this time, Marcus. You could have saved yourself. The blood we spill will be on our hands. You three wouldn't have ran blindly out into oncoming fire. You would have been fine. Cover me. You dumbasses. Move till it's over, okay? Will you stay alive this time? Because you tried to run before. won't work with me, okay? Change sides. Covering fire. Fire! Mm. Sorry. I, I really wish you guys would be smarter. Where am I signaling you? On my signal. Now. Cool. I... On my signal. Group will cover. I can't look anywhere else. I literally can't look anywhere else. Oh, there you are. On my signal. 23% chance of. Cool. I'm. I don't know what to do. Charge. In position. Cover. On my signal. Cool. Okay. We can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. Stand by. Stand by. In position.
Stand by. Is that everybody? For Jericho! Take, take over that machine gun, turn it around. We're nearly there, Marcus. Oh, they've got a tank. For freedom! Cool. Recall center number five. It's Marcus. He's coming. He's gonna save us. Step forward when you hear the signal. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. What's behind these doors? They just want to check us. Alice! Kara! No, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared. You have to stay in line. Don't move, you hear me? Don't leave me all alone, Kara. I can't. want to check us. They won't do us any harm. I can help you, Carl. I can attract the guard's attention. Okay, let me find Luther first. Luther, get over here. Come on, move it. Okay, well, it took me a while to find you, Marcus. Shit. Oh, um... Oh my god! Oh my god! These are fast! Ah! 
I mean, at this point, I might as well get, try to get the... I'll be back. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Marcus. It's not over, Marcus. It will never be over. Mission failed. Sorry, Connor. I mean, you've been failing the mission pretty hard. Since I fucking suck at this. are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of war. they'll realize how much they've wronged us. Wait! Can I not escape? Come on, inside now. There's a way to escape here, though. I should- wait, no! I should have had an option to escape through the fence. Damn, I'm really good at getting these two killed. Someone's clipping through back there. I have yet to have a playthrough where I haven't had to go back and fix their They're ending. Coming. Coming. Oh. We're free! Never mind! We didn't die! Ah. I was like, I, I can escape through the fence. Let me escape through the fence. Cool. I didn't have to nuke the city. Oh, hi, guys. Can we uh, get our clothes back, please? Hey, look. A couple of them have their clothes. Oh, because they're the ones who just broke in. Got it. Figure that out. Get the fuck over here, Luther. Get the fuck over here. So naked. just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The Deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. 
Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. 12.01 a.m. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. Uh-oh. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Connor's not with me, never mind. And tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive, and now we are free. I feel like we could have scattered some more clothed androids in the crowd. Where's Luther? Okay. Mm. But, but, but David Cage. Part of me wants to cut the cutscenes out so that way it's not super, or the cutscenes, the credits out, so that way it's not super long, but at the same time, I feel disrespectful not leaving them in because they worked so hard on this game, so I'm going to leave the credits in and give credit where credit is due because this is an amazing game. It's definitely one of my favorites, um, and the fact that you can play it multiple times and get something different each time is always a lot of fun. Um, uh, when it asked me to choose between Connor and Mar Marcus, I, I had to choose Marcus because I didn't want to kill Marcus. I wanted him to succeed. But, uh, but I also want Connor to succeed, but Machine Connor was not working out for me. He was very much so dead Connor. And so, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, I forget at this point, I might as well just keep killing him. I'm surprised I didn't get the I'll be back trophy, though, unless, unless we've already achieved it before and I just didn't realize it, because at one point my nephew did play on my PS4 account before we made him his own, so he could have very well gotten that achievement and I not known it. I feel like I should have gotten it. I killed him. Let's see. We had the three. Yeah, we had three deaths. Um, for sure, at the beginning. Um, hostage situation. Police department. Hank shooting him at the police department. Um, Marcus killing him. twice. Marcus killed him twice. And then we jumped off the roof to flee. So he's died six times. By my count. So I feel like I should have that I'll be back trophy by now. <laughs> I feel like I've killed him enough times to get it. 
I fully intended for this to be a Red Connor playthrough, but instead it came out Dead Connor. And I'm sorry, Connor. I killed you a lot. I'm still heartbroken about Hank. I don't know why I said heartbroken like that. It sounded really funny to me. Oh god, I'm so heartbroken over that, though. And the fact that there's no way to change the outcome of that scene. Oh, that just kills me. Is there a way to speed up the credits? I know in um, some games you can... Whoops! I went to speed them up, not skip them. No, I'm sorry. Escape death. Fuck yeah. That was the only achievement I got. Oh, buddy. Oh my god, they could have gone so many different ways. Okay. So. I could have come in somewhere else and done something completely different. Okay, can we zoom out a little bit? Uh, thank you. Okay. Mark sends a message, charge, and charge the barricade. If I don't charge the barricade, it ends very quickly. Plant the flag at the crossroad. Launch attack. Approaching the recall center. Josh leaves cover like a dumbass. Inspire frightened android. Android stays hidden. Well, at least you're alive this time. Simon wasn't there for me to try to save him this time, so there's that. Um, I missed all of this, whatever this is. But hey, that results in death, apparently, so good thing I missed it. Reach the machine gun, attack successful. Drone attacks North's group, shoot the drone. Yeah, I probably could have coordinated that attack better. But for some reason I was thinking, oh, if I have covering fire... You know, they'll, they'll stay undercover and then I can get... Th no. What happens if I uh, fail? A lot, apparently. Uh, approach Recall Center 5. Final Assault. Marcus hit by explosion. Connor finds Marcus. I chose to control Marcus. Um, won the fight. Shot the tanks. Assault was successful. Yeah, I, I don't like to lose with Marcus. Um, change flowchart. This is... Oh, the demonstration. Well, we didn't do that one, so... Okay, this is Connor's last mission. Somehow we... Okay, I don't know how we managed that, but okay. Found a vantage point. Prepared to shoot. Ouch. Captain Allen intervenes, whereas if Hank were still alive, he would have intervened. Talk to Allen. Flee. Connor jumps off the roof. I, I killed Connor like six different times. Cyberlife decided to send another Connor. <laughs> All right. Oh, we didn't do that one, so that's null and void. Zoom out. Thank you. Leaving Detroit. Well, we didn't do that one. Kara captured. There we go. At recall, Android, leave the truck. Fail to reassure Alice. Good job, me. Uh, get out of the truck. Get in line. Alice ordered to move forward. Reassure Alice. Soldier becomes impatient. Convince Alice. Reach the tent. Deactivate skin. Undress. We could have died very abruptly. Uh, leave the tent. 
Also, could have died very abruptly. Deviant shot, trying to escape. Shoulder Soldier orders Android to move body. Volunteer, carry Android. Uh, yeah, I could have chosen to escape there and just fucking left. Or did I not look at it to trigger it? I'm, I'm, maybe I was supposed to look at it and then go back? Oops, well, that's my fault. I fucked that up. Uh, caught by drone. Distressed android is shot. Talk to Jerry. Talk to Jerry. Remain still. Yep, didn't get killed by the drone or injured. Death was an option. Um, Luther, scarred android. I probably missed them. Luther gets taken away. Do not intervene. Those don't seem to go anywhere, but I assume intervening results in getting shot. Um, I wonder what other androids I could have found. Exit enclosure, join line, find Alice. Alice is terrified. Line moves forward. Oh, I could have done something there. Okay. Talk to android behind Kara. Talk to Luther. Observe guards. Talk to Scar, talk to Jerry. I guess I, I did miss a lot, even though I was trying really hard to make sure I didn't, but... Uh, ask to create diversion. Soldiers are distracted. Reach Alice. In line with Alice. Reach recycling machine. M Marcus liberates androids. Kara and Alice are saved. Cool. Okay, well. That is the end of... Detroit become human. What's this? Oh, it just takes us back here. Okay. I can't believe Connor's gone. He's not. Now he'll never find what he was looking for. I uh, didn't come back to this menu after I shot Chloe either, so I don't know if she was going to say something about, you know, me killing her. Um... Connor's not gone. Well, unless I like decided not to send another one. Um, okay, I guess there were no... I think I may have accidentally skipped. Can I see? No, this isn't going to be like the cutscenes. Nope, this, ain't, this is not what I was thinking either. Um, yeah, because I think I, I think I, uh, skipped a cutscene that was at the end of the credits by accident, um, because I accidentally skipped the credits. I was trying to see if I could speed them up, because, like, in Heavenly Sword, if you hit a certain button, it made the credits go faster versus skipping them entirely. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of of Detroit Become Human. Um, this was a very painful playthrough for me because it went very much so against what I like to do. Um, what I want to do as a person. But it was fun. And I got to see parts of the story that I've never seen before. So I'm, I'm both sad and, and happy with, with how it came out. Um, I'm done with Detroit Become Human. Um, I'll probably play it, you know, on my own. Maybe I'll bring it back for, you know, Twitch and play it on there. Um, but for now, we are done with it. And the next game I'm going to be starting up is going to be Baldur's Gate 3. So, yay, another long series. <laughs> Full of decisions that I can make terribly. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Uh, until then, I will see you guys later. I hope you're okay today. No, I'm not. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. I appreciate that, because I'm not okay after the Hank scenario. Anywho, I will see you guys later. And remember to do something nice for a stranger today. You just might save a life. Bye!